I am in no means an expert or even particularly good when it comes to spearfishing. In fact, I started spearfishing fairly recently, being a couple of summers ago. Pretty much the entirety of my basic learning has come from a couple of real GCs on Instagram and videos on YouTube. Anything outside of this has been self-taught through doing things the wrong way and then figuring it out from there. Saltwater fishing in its traditional form has never really interested me much. However, spearfishing gave me the opportunity to harvest fish from the ocean while it's still remaining a fair chase endeavour and providing a much needed challenge to the sport. guys, um, I'm heading off up to Tea Point for a spearfish this morning. I uh, picked up some chum and stuff on the way and I should get there with a nice outgoing tide. So um, yeah, hopefully I can put a shaft through something and I'll catch up there. I like to mix shampoo and water in a squeezy bottle and then squirt that into my wetsuit as it makes it a lot easier to slide on. Alright guys, here I am. So I'm going to head out, swim out around here, around the side and um, chum up up there, the current's running out so it should be pretty good. Um, a lot of fish like to hang out where I'm chumming so let's get into it hopefully we get something. After chumming up it didn't take long for the schools of fish to start arriving. And there were some quite decent schools of perori around. After about 5 minutes, I decided to move the camera to an area that had a better view. So I've um, jumped on the channel now. I'm just going to sit here on this island for a bit and see what comes in. Um, I can actually see where I've chucked it all, which is pretty good. So yeah, hopefully some fish come in and they can get a shot away. Yeah, so I'm going to cruise around a bit more, um, have a look elsewhere, see what the chums brought in, just leave this spot for a bit. Um, but yeah, hopefully I come across something out these ways more. The visibility wasn't great, for the most part only being able to see about 5 metres. I saw a small group of perori hanging out on the rock edge, so I dove down to see if I could get a shot away. When ickying a fish, put the knife in just above and behind the eye and push in until the mouth opens, then you'll know the fish is dead. While I was off sparing that perori, there was a lot of action on my chum camera. Including this giant school of yellow-eyed mullet.
sometimes the shot's just not there. This Perori I managed to spare while I was lying on top of a rock out of the water. I started to pull it in but realised the spear hadn't gone all the way through so I had to dive down to retrieve it. This time I decided to lie on the bottom and allow the fish to become comfortable with my presence. Well that sucks, the uh, spear pulled out of that one. The two so far is not bad. Um, actually I think I had the spear pull out of two. I'm not sure about the first one, I might have just cleaned this. But the second one definitely hit, you should be able to see it in the video. She so done the uh, spin and then it's pulled out. Um, that's the second fish the flopper hasn't engaged on, which is um, interesting. I might have to take a look at that when I get home. But now I'm just going to rest up for a bit before I get back in there and see if I can secure a few more. Right as I was taking my shot, the big perori I was aiming at veered off to the right and this poor little fella took a face full of spear. Luckily there's no minimum size restriction on perori. However, this shot went exactly according to plan. Happy with my catch, it was time to call it a day. Well guys, that's me getting out of the water now. Um, yeah, it's been a real good day. Been a lot of fun. Shame there was no, uh, you know, predatory fish or anything, but still pretty cool to get three big perori. A good bit of practice in for summer and three good sized perori. So yeah, happy as. Thanks very much for watching. Um, I know I'm not the best sparrow in the world, but. Now it's only very early spring, it's only the 26th of October so I still got plenty of time to get good before uh, you know summer really gets into swing and there's the kingies and everything around. So yeah no I had good fun, um, three perfect shots on some good sized priori, um, one perfect shot on the wrong fish, not quite sure how that happened, I'll have to see when I watch the footage back, but yeah, um, other than that yeah it's been real good so Thanks heaps for watching and I'll see you on the next one.